So I'm going to show you guys really quick how to set up and use FileZilla to transfer packs over. Okay. So I've already downloaded FileZilla. I have it on the computer already. I'm going to give you guys links for that, but you can Google it. It's really easy to find. Okay. I'm going to open it up. This box right up here underneath File. Okay. You can click on that to set up a new host. Okay. I already have mine in there, but I'll show you how we do this here. So here's all the ones I have saved, but you can come down here and you'll click on new site. Okay. Name it whatever you want. I have mine named RetroPie and RetroPie2 because I've got two running in the house. Right here where it says host, you're going to put in your IP address, which you can find in the Wi-Fi settings or in the show IP address setting in attract mode. Okay, enter your IP address. Right here, you're going to want SFTP. Okay. You shouldn't have to put in the port number, but it'll be port number 22. As long as you have SFTP selected, it should be fine. Now, here for login type, you're going to click normal. Okay. The username is rat. Wait. The username is pi. Sorry, pi. And then the password is going to be raspberry. R A S P. B E R R Y. Make sure you get that P in there. I had a hard time when I first started doing this because I left the P out and I couldn't figure out why it didn't work. So R A S P B E R R Y. Okay. <clears throat> and then you're going to click OK and it'll save that host. Okay. It'll save that site, it calls it. I'm not going to hit OK because I don't want to save a new one and I didn't put my IP address in anyway. So as soon as you save that, you can go back here and then click on that site, your RetroPie, click Connect, and what it's going to do, let me show you. I'll go ahead and connect to mine. So I'm going to select RetroPie. I'm going to hit Connect, and that's going to pull up. Yep, yeah, RetroPie 2. Okay, so what you see here on the right-hand side is all the files that are on my Raspberry Pi. Okay. On the left hand side is the directory on my computer that that corresponds to as far as where I want to transfer files to or from. Okay. So on my computer I have all my stuff saved in separate folders. Um, the newest ones that I have not transferred yet are in, let's see here. Pi ROM sets, I believe. Oh, on desktop. Okay. So I'm going to go desktop. I'm going to go to Pi ROM sets. Just make sure you have them saved somewhere where you know where they are. Navigate to that folder. Okay. And then I'm going to go. Where is it? Updated Motion Blue Packs. Okay. So here are all my ROM folders. So after you download and extract it, this, you're going to end up with one of these. Okay. It's going to be a folder for the corresponding system that you decided to download. Okay. Now on the right hand side for the Pi, we're going to want to go in the home folder. We're going to want to go down to RetroPie. Okay. You see the ROMs folder right here. Click on ROMs and open that bad boy up. Okay. These are all the systems. Now if you have a new install, these are all going to be empty. They're in here by default. Um, they don't have anything in them. So we're going to replace those. Uh, let me see if I've got a small one in here that will be quick to transfer. Mm. Alright, we're going to do Nintendo BSX. Okay, It's one of the specialty packs. Well, I probably shouldn't do that. Trying to find one here that's not a specialty pack. That's small. We'll go with it. Well, I think that is too. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you're going to take your folder, you're going to right click on it. I'll just do Nintendo 64 because we haven't transferred that yet. It doesn't matter how big it is. Okay, right click on it to highlight it. Now, with the specialty packs, you'll have to open those and there will be folders inside. That's a separate video. Timon's already made a video for that. So you're going to right click on this, click upload, okay. 
And it's going to go ahead and start transferring those files over. Right now it's actually copying them in to the Raspberry Pi. You can see the pro progress right here. The only time it'll ask you if you want to override is if there's something in the file, okay? If it does ask you if you want to override, as long as you know what that is, go ahead and do so. This can take a little while. We're not going to sit here and watch it with Nintendo 64. It's going to take probably 20 minutes or so. Um, but as soon as it's done, you can go in and start the Raspberry Pi, and it'll, it'll have all those ROMs on there. You can go ahead and play them. It's that simple going to transfer all the ROMs over and put them in the correct folder. You'll see right here. Where is it? N64, see? Right now it's transferring the ROMs into that folder. It'll put the wheel art in the correct place. It'll put the snaps in the correct place. It knows where all that needs to go. No need for you to worry about anything else. And that's it.